Hello dear students, today we are going to see lesson number 11, Responsibility, though we have uh, completed during the life class, that I am going to show you again, so that you feel okay, easy to answer these questions. Page number 39, some years ago, mother of a large family died. So here we are seeing only the examples, okay through which we will be able to understand what responsibility is. The other day we have already seen about uh, Chandra Bank and today we are going to continue with this. So, a mother of a large family died. Upon the frail soldiers of the eldest girl, not even 17, felt the burden of caring for the family. So we see here, the whole responsibility comes upon the shoulder of just okay 17 years old girl without a word she took over the household course course means here the routine task of household okay once like uh, the day to day works or the activities that uh, we do it so everything comes on on to this girl kept the children clean, well fed and sent them to school. So she used to look after the other children also. One day, when a friend stopped by and complimented her on the achievement, she replied, I can't take credit for something I have to do. God leaves us on our own to accept our responsibilities or to evade them. So she immediately okay, started saying, she doesn't take any credit because it is her responsibility to carry out and it is on our own whether to okay, accept them gladly and to carry out or to like avoid those responsibilities evade means to escape or avoid doing those things so we see hand okay so we see handle with care does not apply to things alone it applies to human beings too, with whom we have to deal with every day. So she says, okay, we see that handle with care does not only apply to things alone, so it applies to human beings also. So just like the things, okay, that we look after, maybe, okay, something that is valuable, maybe, okay, let us talk, uh, let us take, for example, a mobile, maybe other things, okay, that we love best or love most, what happened? We take care of those things, okay. And now we see another example that uh, if anything is uncared, you see, if it is not noticed, so just like uh, the eldest girl of the family, okay, where mother is not there to look after things, especially to do the household uh, chores, she takes up the responsibility. So here also she is responsible for everything. A barber's assistant, seeing a man comes for shave, asked the barber, May I try, okay? Giving him a shave, it will be a good practice for me. All right, go ahead, replied the boss doubtfully, but be careful, don't cut yourself. So you are okay, you're afraid to do, okay, you can also have a practice, but make sure that you do not okay, hurt yourself. This was the advice of the boss to the assistant barber. Not long ago, so we see another example here, very often we are careful with ourselves and are careless with others in dealings. So we must take care of both okay, the things which belongs to others and to things okay, which belongs to us. Not long ago, a 35 year old woman committed suicide. She had often complained of the loneliness that had confronted in her childhood and had followed her all through her life. So here we talk about a lady okay, who was just 35 years old has committed suicide because okay, she used to complain or she felt loneliness throughout her life. Shortly before her death, she spoke of the emptiness of her existence and referred to her life as a horribleness. So shortly, okay, just before her death, she even talked about or spoke about the emptiness of her existence that she feared and expressed to her 
life and refer to her life okay or consider her life to be a horrible mess after she had died her friends remembered her warning signals and they regretted that they had not heeded her cries for help and after the death of this lady her friends or maybe the companion or maybe neighbors okay remembered what she used to say during her lifetime and uh, when they remembered the words of this particular lady they really uh, regretted they felt sorry for their uh, actions if they had paid attention to her loneliness and given her much more attention perhaps she would not have died and okay here it says okay we regret or we feel sorry for the things okay which we were not able to do and this realizations come okay is after the thing has happened if we could realize before or before any worst or any bad situations arrive then okay it would be, it would be better we should feel for these people their outlooks on life would have been healthy and normal if someone had shown a bit of interest in them so a life would be a joyful it would be a very interesting it would be a meaningful if okay if we give meaning to our life so that we need to feel for the others only then maybe through our thoughts maybe with our words the life of others can also be changed yet many a human tragedy could be averted maybe averted means prevented by a little thoughtful solitude on our part solitude means care and concern for someone so if we show a little bit of concern for the other person definitely the life of other persons can change if people are willing to shoulder responsibility and fulfill their duty this world will be a better place to live in so the world in which we live in it would it would be a better place only when we do our responsibility when we shoulder the responsibility and fulfill our duties well do your part by lending a hand to those who need your help so we need to do our part that means okay whichever responsibilities or the work that we have we need to do them properly and okay we need also to lend that means okay to help the others okay especially those who are in need one evening a man took a candle from a box and began to climb a long winding stairway where are you going asked the candle i am going up higher than the house to show sheep the way to the harbor he replied the candle said but no sheep in the harbor could see my light it is so very small even if your light is small the man said keep burning brightly even if it is small okay so it happens okay even we are doing a small thing to the others we need or we should continue to do small things we are not expected to do great things when we do small things okay that would bring difference to the others and that's why this man also said okay keep burning brightly and leave the rest to me when the man reached the top of the long stair case he came to a great lamp so he came to a great lamp that means he saw and lit the lamp and after that he just lighted the lamp soon the great polished reflector behind the lamp began to send beams of light across the mines of sea so from there we see okay just because of doing small thing okay we have seen so many others are being helped especially okay here we should remember that the lamp okay which burns for the others and uh, let us take the example of a candle also it burns and gives light to the others it shows the path to the others so it sometime okay in burning just like the candle okay it burn and then okay sometime it is completely over so it burn it reduces in itself by burning 
isn't it? And he gives light to the others. So dear students, okay, this I think okay, this is understood. And try to do the questions, okay, whichever is there from this lesson, especially question number B and C in the coffee. Thank you so much.